David Hooper. I'm not a logger, but I'm part of the crew that that works on this show. This is our boss, Jack James. That's why we're JJ Logging. Jack spent his life in the bush working in, and he started out on a steam donkey. So this is back to the future for Jack. <laughs> and us people that are younger, we're lucky enough to be working with them so we can have an idea of how it used to be. So, we're going to, uh, I'll just do a little explanation and then what we're going to do in logging the three big functions is one, the fallers who knock down the timber, okay? And then you have to collect it, pull it in and then logging vocabulary that you're yarding, okay? You're yarding the logs into the foot of this bar tree. Then you've got them all in one place, it's easier to handle them. Then the third step is you load them on the transport to get them to the mill. Okay? You'll notice with the exception of the donkey and the steel cables, everything here you can make on the spot out of the forest. Wooden spar tree, wooden loading boom, underneath the donkey, a wooden Sled. It's called a sled because that thing can move. When we finished here, what you would do is you put a line out into the woods, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 feet, 400 meters, and then this machine would pull itself to your next logging site. Okay? So it's self propelled. This is called a donkey. Not quite sure why, but it replaced horses and oxen. In the old days, they dragged them along the ground, very hard work. And so when they used steam, well, call it a donkey. And they had one winch on it, and that would pull the log in, and then they'd have a horse take it back out there. And somebody said, the owner said, why should I feed a horse 365 days of the year? Get rid of it. And they put a second drum on there, and this machine, it's like a, a pulley system, and it pulls in, and then when you unhook the logs, the haul back pulls the rigging out for the second load. Okay. Give them three blasts, yeah. which means the logs are going to come in. splitting it and piling it. So you can see why the owners very quickly said, hey, let's go to oil, get rid of those three guys.